Okay, in this example, we are looking at the following table which gives the rate of ulcers per 100 people in a population for differing family incomes in the year 1998. The incomes vary from 10 up to 80, but remember that the scale of these is thousands, so incomes of 10,000 up to 80,000. And the rate of ulcers goes from 8.3 down to 1.2. So you can immediately see with these numbers that as the income increases, the rate of ulcers decrease. So the first thing we're asked to do is draw a scatter plot. If you're doing this on an exam, then you want to make sure that you label your scale. I'm going to simply use the calculator to draw a sc scatter plot. So I go to second y equals to get stat plot. I'm going to turn it on. I make sure I have L1 and L2 because that's where I entered the data when I hit stat edit before, okay? So once I have that, once I have that, then I want to make sure that my window works. My minimum value, I'm going to keep at zero, but my maximum I'm going to increase to 100 so I can be sure that I see all my values. Remember the scale is in terms of thousands. The minimum ulcer rate, I'm also going to keep it zero, but this time I'm going to keep it going up to 10. Okay, numbers don't go higher than that. Then I can see my scatter plot. Okay, this will not get you full points on an exam because you need to label your axes, right? So let's label those and indicate the scale. This here is my independent axis, that's income, and this is the rate of ulcers. Once you have the rate of ulcers and the income, then we also need to indicate a scale. Each of these is, um, right, good. So then we need to find the equation of the line of best fit. We're actually going to find the regression equation, and we're going to let the calculator do that. So we go to stat, we go over to the right to calc, and we want a linear regression. So we hit number four, or we scroll down to it. Some of these do not display L1 and L2. This is the new operating system. Sometimes you just get it in this form here, okay, where you get lin reg, and that spits it out. Okay? So our slope is negative, which we expect, because as income increases, the rate of ulcers decreases. So this equation is y equals the slope negative 0 0.106, negative 0 0.106 times x, you can see that here, plus 9.25 for the y-intercept, 9.25, all right? So that is my best regression equation. We also see here an r value, which tells us that you are very strong positive correlation, 0 0.989 rounded to three sig figs, very strong. Okay, you can see that from the graph. Strong negative correlation. All right, so that's my equation in part C. I am asked for the estimated ulcer rate in families with 45,000. 45 is not on the table. However, I can calculate it by putting in 45 in place of x, and then I can do this calculation for the rate of ulcers, okay? So putting that in, I have negative 0 0.106 times 45 plus 9.25, okay? So 4.48 is the rate of ulcers for a family of an income 45. And that number makes sense. It's between these two, so we're happy. Explain why the model is inadequate for numbers in excess of 100,000. So that's quite a comfortable lifestyle. If we have a look at it, and we do that same calculation, second enter, and instead of 45, we're going to put in 100. OK, 
Okay? And when we do that, we'll see that you get a negative rate of ulcers. A negative rate of ulcers doesn't make any sense. Be so your reason is why justify it with some math times 100 plus 9.25 is negative 1.35. So you need some kind of sentence now. This does not make sense. Because, okay, so you, to get full reasoning marks, this does not make sense because you cannot have a negative rate of ulcers. Okay, nearly there. So then it says, later it's realized one of the figures written is incorrect. Which is it likely to be? If we look at the graph, we can see here, this one here is what you call an outlier. So let's have a look at it. We won't do the rest of the problem because of time, but that's an outlier, right? And it looks to be from the table, the numbers are decreasing until here, right? Decrease, and then increase, decreasing again. Sorry, I'm wrong. It should be this one, because all the numbers are going down, and then one goes up. So this is the outlier. If you notice that in any data that you're working with in, in, in real life, you would exclude that. And you would go back to the table, stat, edit, and you would get rid of that value with 25 and 7. So let's get rid of it. And 7.3. And then you could go back to stat, go over to calc, calculate the new linear regression. Again, your operating system might look a little bit different here. Press enter, and you see that this got stronger. And you see that your graph got even stronger as well. It's a very strong negative correlation. Okay, so that's all the things you need for the assessment next Wednesday. This is how to use your calculator to do a scatter plot, how to use your calculator to find a regression line, how to make some predictions with your regression line showing working, and um, that should be good.